Sarah Heimlich and I've been involved with the First Family program since I was 10 years old. This program has literally changed my life. I started off as a very shy and quiet 10 year old who would literally hide behind her mom at the grocery store. I didn't really have any ambitions in life and I had no passion. Today I'm a fourth year engineering student who's interned at Google and I'm a member of the Australian Regional Planning Committee for FIRST. So I've told you a little bit about how I got involved but let's go find out what drives some of the other students. Come on. Well, about six years ago, some Americans came to my high school and did a presentation about this robotics team they were starting and since I was into science and math I decided that would be a good thing to go along to and I'm here, still here six years later. I always saw my dad working on like the car and like a computer and stuff and I was interested in, in trying to help him but I didn't know how. So when I when realized that our school had a robotics team, I was like, oh, I should try this. So why robots? Because why not? <laughs> it's a life-changing experience and I like working with the kids and getting them to see what engineering can do for the world. Like I've, I've never actually thought about this until my school offered it to me and they said, you know, we have a robotics program. And I said, what's that? And then they said, oh, you get to build a robot. And I was like, a robot? They're cool ass, like, the robots with us. Every single time I see a robot move, I just get so happy. All I knew about engineering was that it was boring. I didn't exactly know what it was, but I knew it was boring. And now, after four years of being on this robotics team, I'm looking at pursuing a degree in biomedical engineering, majoring in software engineering. I love working with these young, like young engineers. It's really inspiring. Because robots are cool. What kind of robots are you going to be building for us in 10 years? I look forward to being able to interface um, the human body with engineering and robotic technology. So like nanobots to go into a bloodstream or something like that. Hopefully there's some kind of cleaner robots because no one likes cleaning. People usually go, um, you know, I'm in a basketball team or I do dancing or something. But it's not every day they get to go, you know, I'm part of a robotics team. They're going to advance. Um, the way we live, they're going to change the world and it's going to be these people who change the world. Like before I wasn't really interested but now I'm like, engineering can be like, in my future now. My family has been doing it since I was a baby and I really like the idea of getting to do all this cool stuff that normal people don't really get to do. I really want to see um, some really great advancements in the in the medicine uh, medicine area and medical engineering because I believe that medical engineering has the capacity to really change some lives. Hopefully, flying ones. I really want a flying one, one that flies. <laughs> Something really awesome. Hopefully, I just hope it's a robot that will help someone. Something that can fly. Ideas for the future haven't even been thought of yet. So hopefully, I get to help in planning them.